Hello and welcome to episode 4 of Short Session Carpers. This is Syndicate Diary number 3. We're at our local syndicate, Frying in Fisheries, on the Valley Lake. We're down here for a 48 hour session and confident for a couple of bites. Uh, it looks promising. When we got here, a uh, guy a few swims down from us, uh, he had a double take just as I was there. So luckily, I got to reel in a nice little um, white koi, about just under £20. Yeah, um, um, so that makes us a bit more confident and uh, hopefully next time we see you, we'll have fish on the bank. Right, so today I'm fishing Monk Bank, same as last week. Um, similar sort of tactics, fishing Snowman Rig, show you that a bit later. Um, I'm fairly confident after a success last week, especially that 30. So, yeah, I'll let you know if I get one. Right, so this is the swim I've chosen today, same swim as last time. I do feel quite confident in this swim because uh, I'm considering last time I know where the fish um, started going, I know how to bait up the swim properly. So I'm confident for a few bites and hopefully next time I see you, I'll have fish on the bank. Right, so this is the bait me and Robbie are using today. Uh, it's from Bait Crew. It's called the Stealth. Uh, the bait itself is packed with all different ingredients: Robin Reds, um, pre-digested fish meals, micro water snails, spices, supernaturals, all sorts. And then they've got two um, other ingredients that not even we know because they've been on the underground rolling scene since about 2006. So a lot, of, a lot of thought has gone into these boilies, so I think that's what makes them so successful. Uh, we've got stick mixes, as you can see here, little bags. 18mm um, boilies here, 16 sorry. They come in 10s, 18s, 16s, all sorts. Uh, we've got little 10mm pop-ups, stealth again, all same flavour. Uh, it's like a fishy smell, don't know what it is exactly, must be them two other ingredients. Um, comes in a whole range really, got pellets, pellet oils, glugs, paste, anything you can think of. Uh, it's a good quality bait, you can see inside it, if I show you here, break one up, you can see it's good quality stuff like inside the boil itself, you can tell it's just full of fishy foods and all sorts. But yeah, that's the bait, hopefully we'll get a few fish. Bait crew stealth boily, tipped off with a little 10 mil, going down to a little bit of silicon on the on the hook with a little size 8 cap to curve hook. Then going down to the braids, it's just a supernatural with a little uh, tail rubber thing to kick everything out with a little quick clip just so you can attach it ev everything nicely. And this is how it sits in the water. As you can see, pop up holds the the boilie up nicely without lifting the hook and then so the boilie's really light if you get a fish everything will lift up straight away and I think that that gives it plenty more hooking potential and makes it a better rig Right 
Right, so it's just gone half seven on the first night. Uh, we've had a few liners between us. Yeah, I mean, no fish as of yet, but uh, we're still pretty confident. I mean, no one else has had anything, but uh, we've seen the odd fish splash. Oh, there's one just gone there. That, that's promising. Um, when we was here last week, I had that 30 between eight and nine, so the fish seemed to come out around that time. So with a bit of luck, we'll have a fish to show you before it gets too dark. Right, it's about half eight now. Robbie just had a screaming run. Uh, his rob went mental. Both run over there. Uh, the rob was almost pulling in the water. End of the rob was bouncing up and down. Couldn't have been a liner. Must have been a fish. But he struck into it and unfortunately, unfortunately he lost it. Um, he's casting back out now. So it's promising. He's fishing the area. Hopefully, I know I've been saying this whole session, but hopefully we should get one. If we do, I'll let you know. I'll speak to you again later on tonight. Right, it's just gone nine o'clock. Uh, no action of the yet. Uh, the guy, as I mentioned earlier, who's been on the fish has caught a few more. He's getting, I don't know what he's doing, but it seems to be working, so I might have to go and have a chat with him later. Um, I'm fishing two main spots under two under the two willow trees. I'll show you that later. Maybe if I don't get any bites off of them, I might move it out into the reedy margins or into the open water. I've got, also got the option of the monk, so got plenty of options and if I've tried all them and then I've still had nothing maybe I'll change the rig but I'll keep you posted right it's 12 o'clock now well, I had a run earlier as did Blobby um, I, when I struck into mine there was nothing on so I've increased the lead size I've gone from a 2 ounce to a 3 ounce just hopefully so if I do get a fish on uh, the three ounce ledge hook, should hook the fish better. So, I think we're hoping on a bite early morning, really. I mean, we've had no bites during the night since we've actually joined here, and I uh, haven't actually seen anyone catch during the night. So, maybe early morning might be a good time. I mean, like, all the bait's in, and now we're just sitting on it, really, just hoping for a bite for the morning. Yeah, and, that, and last week I had that one, didn't I? Off six in the morning. Yeah. Actually, works up that one, so. <laughs> just shouted me to get out. I was in boxes netting the fish, yeah. Yeah, but with a bit of luck, we might get one in the night. I doubt it, but if we do, we'll let you know. At least we'll get a good night's sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Keep see, you updated, though. Yeah, see you in the morning. Right, it's just the first morning. Nothing in the night. A few bites between us. Um, I actually had a run about four o'clock. Run out there, struck into it, but there's nothing on. Uh, Robbie reeled in this morning, and he had no bait on, so looks like the crayfish are among us. They're not really that bad of a problem in here. They're easy to get around. Like imitation baits, shrink wrapping. Uh, maybe it's an idea just to do that in the night because it's out there for a long time. Whereas in the day you're bringing it in every now and then so it doesn't really have that much effect. Um, as a fish, we've seen a few signs. Uh, one jumped about five minutes ago down in my little willow tree. Uh, we walked around there, had a little look. There's a few fish feeding down there so that looks promising. Hopefully I'll get one. Uh, Robbie's sticking to his lily pads like he did last week and we saw the success he had off there so I am pretty confident I do think we'll get one it's meant to brighten up as well today at the moment it's a bit cold and windy but yeah I'll keep you posted and hopefully I'll have a fish next time I see you About half four now. Um, we're going to head up to dinner in about, about half hour. It's not just nothing happening. Uh, I don't think anyone's had a bite across the old lake over there. 
No, um, I decided to reposition one of my rods to the monk just because everything's dead and I just felt like trying it to be honest. Uh, we've, we've tried everything really. I've gone all up and down my margin on my right, tried everything, tried different rigs, all sorts, but if it, I don't think it's just us, it's everyone on the lake, it's just switched off really. Yeah, when it's not happening all you could do is sit back and wait really. If someone else was catching around the lake then it would be different, we'd know it's we'd know it's our rigs and our what we're doing but it's not, so we'll speak to you after dinner and tell you what we're gonna do. Maybe a moves on the cards. I dunno. Speak to you in a bit. Right, so we've been getting a lot of questions asking why we're not fishing the main lake and why we're fishing the valley lake. Um, it's quite simple really. The owner Chris doesn't want us up there yet due to our age. He wants to see, he wants us to fish the valley first, see how we treat the fish, see how we approach the water. But to be honest, it's mainly for fish care. He's had these fish since they were tiny. They're like his pets, so he wants people to take good care of them. That's pretty much the reason why carp cradles were introduced. It's a lot safer having the fish off the floor than rather than on the bank. Uh, don't get me wrong, Valley Lake is still a lovely lake. There's a good stock of fish in here. It's nothing compared to the main lake, obviously, but that's just difference. 18 acres. This is only about, what, I don't know, two or three. Uh, there's still like, I think it's 150, 20 pound plus carp, 10 of which are 30s, and one could be a 40 come out last £37 I think it was three years ago so I've still got plenty to aim at uh, the main lake itself it's got 130s, 1040s and, and a 50 at the right time of year so hopefully we'll be up there soon we spoke to Chris he says he's impressed uh, we're, we're like we're proving to be good anglers so hopefully in the near future he'll let us up there be, I'll look forward to making a video on there, but you can't obviously you can't expect to fish every session because that's hard up there. You could spend a season up there and catch one fish, but if you do, you know it's going to be a lovely one. So yeah, just thought, that's just what I tell you the reason, and that's why. So I'll speak to you a bit later. So it's the final night, no fish. Um, hopefully we'll get one in the night, but. To be fair, I can't really see that happening. I mean, like, the wind's picked up again. It's ridiculously windy. I mean, every, I mean, the fish have even started to stop showing. I mean, that guy who had loads earlier, it's all died down. I mean, we haven't actually had a bite during the night since we've joined here. Uh, we spoke to a few of the members that have fished here, like, on a regular basis, and they say sometimes you can come down here, have it off, like we have in the past few weeks. Then you can come down, same swim, same tactics, and you can catch nothing. So that appears to be what's happened to us. Well, it ain't really anything too disheartening. I mean, like, we've got a year on here, there's lovely fish. It's still a great time, but just being out here, really. Yeah, we might, we've, saying all this, we've still got time to get one. So, with a bit of luck, we'll see you in the morning with a fish, or well, in the night with a fish, sorry. But if not, what I've got next week and the day tomorrow up until about two, one, one two o'clock. One or two o'clock, yeah. Yeah, so we'll keep, we'll keep you updated. Right, so unfortunately, it looks like we've had our first blank on our syndicate. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm not too disappointed really. We still had a nice session uh, with loads of people to talk to. Everyone's nice around here. Yeah, we still had a good time. We always do down here. Um, I don't think it was what we done. I don't think it was our tactics. We've done the same last week and had great success. So I don't think we can blame it on that. But maybe a few different tactics can be brought in, see how they fare. But if someone else was catching, like if a few people around the lake were catching a lot, then maybe we'd think it was us. But it just looks like one of them days. Well, uh, hopefully we might catch in next session next week. But. Uh... If we don't, hope to see you on the bank sometime. Thanks for watching and we hope you've enjoyed.